Uh, <laughs> Apex and Parlay family, it's me, Detroit Lenny here with another free uh, college football pick for you. Saturday, September 23rd, week four of college football is here. And let's talk with T- Tim Earl uh, from Earl Sports Bets. Talk a little college action. Tim, how's college football been treating you overall? No, it's it, it's I oh, won't right. lie. Really long. It, it's been a little rough, but it's the beginning of the year. I'm ready to really dive That's into fair. it. That's fair. Now we have some sample sizes and everything. Uh, let's talk about this matchup, which I think is great. Rutgers Scarlet Knights traveling to Michigan, taking on the Wolverines. People from Ann Arbor uh, are minus 24. The over under is 44 and a half. Tim, tell them why not to bet Michigan and why. Let me just tell you. Well, this will be the last game that uh, they won't have Harbaugh. So they're still running with alternative people as head coach and coordinators. And, and it's really messed them up the first couple of weeks. Because you look at them, sure, yeah, they're 3-0. and They've outscored their opponents. What would this be? 96-16. to So they look good. So they must have been covering spreads, right? No. No, they have not. They didn't cover a 35 and a half against ECU. They didn't cover 38 and a half against UNLV. They didn't cover 41 against Bowling Green. The fact that they played those two opponents and they've only scored 96 points is a little bit concerning. I think they'll end up looking a little bit better once Harbaugh comes back because not having your coach is definitely going to throw you off a little bit. Um, And we look at Rutgers. I'm not saying Rutgers are going to win this game outright, but they look good. Granted, they've played Northwestern, Temple, and Virginia Tech, but they're winning games, and they're covering. They covered a 5 against Northwestern. They covered a 7.5 uh, against Temple, a 6.5 against West Virginia. Or, sorry, Virginia Tech. I'm grabbing Rutgers in this one. I, I, I mean, I will I be lying if I, don't, if I said I wasn't going to have a slight sprinkle on the money line? Maybe. But uh, I, I think at least they cover the spread of 24 in this one, Lenny. For sure, taking the 24 because Michigan, you know, good. Doesn't cover spreads right now. Once Harbaugh comes back. teams win, great teams cover. I'm just going to let you know. Who do, they, who do they get next week? I think they get Illinois next week. I think Nebraska, they might cover them. They get, no, sorry, they get Nebraska. They get yeah. Nebraska next. They don't really get a challenge until mid November when they play Penn State. State. Nebraska. They, don't, they don't really get a challenge until Penn State uh, down the road. So Correct. Uh, we're going to take Rutgers plus all those points for many, many reasons. Uh, don't forget, you're looking for more from Tim Earl and Earl Sports Bet's premium packages. Head over to picksandparlays.net. Use the promo code NCAAF. That will save you 20% off the entire site over there. Till then, though, Tim's taking the Rutgers Scarlet Knights plus 24 against Michigan. Uh, U of M, whatever. People from yeah, Antarctica. Those guys. Yeah, those guys. I'm, I'm Detroit Lady Picks and Parlays. Tim Earl, Earl Sports Bets. We appreciate you. Good luck unless you're against us. Take care.